Welcome back to Reentry, an orbital simulator. We are coming right off of the heels of an abort during launch last episode, and I am actually just playing this right after that happened. Uh, whereas this video could be however long after that video. I'm not sure exactly when I got around to editing this, but as a uh, debrief to what happened, a malfunction in the Atlas launch vehicle caused by an anomaly resulted in an abort and the loss of the launch vehicle. This has caused a bit of a setback, but we are on track again. Since then, astronaut Patrick followed with a successful identical mission to yours, currently holding the record of the longest time in space. So that means he has spent six orbits in space, which in orbit's about an hour and a half or so. So uh, you can do the math on that one. Hawaii, the last Mercury mission, this is the last one. Oh boy, is almost complete after almost 36 hours in orbit and currently in the 24th orbit. 36 hours, oh man. I have done things in this capsule. <laughs> it's time to fire those retros and head back home. <laughs> All right, let's get back home. Apparently we're coming into a 24 orbit flight mid-flight. I am excited. All right, here we are. Welcome to Zanzibar. All right, we're on a communications uh, area off the coast of Africa, looks like. Roger that. Congratulations on completing all objectives and the last orbit of the mission in 9 Gaming. Yes, yes, I did that. I definitely did that. All that remains is to fire those retros and get back home. I have a feeling this isn't going to go right. I don't know why I have that feeling, but I do. Thank you, Zanzibar. Looking forward to stretching my legs and some fresh ocean air. Roger that. I can imagine. Let's prepare for retro. Correct your current attitude and rates. The retros will be fired as planned at CSQ. With a splashdown close to Hawaii. All right. Roger that. We will soon be out of contact. Maintain retrograde attitude and prepare for the cockpit to retrofire before reaching CSQ. Okay. Um, so, what we're gonna do, because we appear to be on a rotation, so we're in fly-by-wire, with everything pulled here. There's a very weird thing there. I don't know if our, um... I don't really know if if our gyros are going to be set correctly. But I'm not going to touch anything of that sort. I'm just going to move us around until the needles say they're all in the center here. This, I don't know, maybe looks okay. Yaw's definitely going to be off. But let's switch over to normal. And we should get ourselves back on retrograde. We'll be soon, we will soon be out of contact. Let's see how soon we'll be out of contact. Oh, we lost contact with him. And CSQ will be here. And we're going to be re-entering somewhere near Hawaii. That's very exciting. That's a place I've never been. It is night, sir. Whoever was flying this craft did not want to set this to night mode. But here we are. Things set correctly. Time to retro is 18 minutes. So let's go over our uh, checklists for doo -doo -doo -doo, not some emergency. Pre retro. There we go. Approximately 30 minutes before retro time. So we're going to want to set these to cold because we're going to be coming in hot. 15 minutes before retro time is the next time mark. So let's go ahead and time warp until then. We have um that's oh no this is bad okay there seems to be some issues with electric uh-huh is aurora can you hear me i have a major electrical issue i'll try to correct repair for retrofire yeah yeah there's no one there's no one from here all the way here all right we're on our own okay no that's fine Let's see if I can actually look around. Um, 
Okay, all the batteries seem to be online. So what just happened and how do we fix it? Let's see if there's a checklist for this. If there's not, I don't know. Mm. Should we run interior inspection? I don't know. Maybe like a fuse blew and that's what caused everything to do this. Because we're in a dead spacecraft. It's going to get, well, not great in here. Pretty dang shortly. Um, Squib is armed. Uh, we can't abort from orbit, especially with something that's dead. Cabin lights will be set to both. Um, okay, okay, okay. How do we... Standby batteries, actually? All right, hold on. Maybe this was a bad idea. Let's switch all the batteries back on. I don't know. I don't know if cycling, turning these on and off, does anything. But what we will do, switch to a standby battery. Let's not freak out. All we had to do was switch to our standby battery. Easy as that. Ugh, I panicked and forgot about that. No, these should be off, I think. I panicked and forgot about that. Can we get a radio check? Uh, we're, there's no way we're able, gonna be able to communicate with anyone. Okay. Standby one and two are all we're running on. Why didn't I just flip the standby switch? Oh my goodness. Oh, that, that just proves what I'm like under pressure. I decided to flip a whole bunch of things that did not need to be flipped. And I think, um, okay, these two switches are off. These two switches are off and these two switches are off, okay. Um, so anyways, uh, the pre-retro checklist, we're going to go ahead and run these. Um, emergency retro se sequence true? What? Oh, the fuses. These are fuses. Yep. Oh, they want these on. Then why? They were off because, uh, they're not supposed to be on, uh, while... In orbit okay so they want those fuses on everything else is set correctly I wonder if our time to retrograde is accurate anymore I'm not entirely sure but we are still at um, yeah everything should be good maintain retro attitude uh, this doesn't really look right our role is definitely off it seems like it seems like a roll is off, but our yaw and pitch are fine, so we'll assume that's fine. Retro. We don't have to do anything. So, all right, let's just time warp ahead. Passing over Asia at the moment. Good morning, great to see you again, Aurora. Uh, we seem to have some issues with telemetry data. Status report? I have issues with the electrical system, attitude instruments, and the ASCS. Horizon scanners are probably gone too. Ah, so I was correct, but I was incorrect. So our role isn't working correct. It's not detecting the uh, horizon, but neither are pitch and yaw. Oh no. Roger, telemetry is correct then. Let's work this out. Did you turn off the main batteries yet? It seems like the radio works, so you have power. Can you use the window and the periscope for attitude control? Uh, do, oh, yes, yes, I can do that. Oh, first of all, I guess let's, let's give me full control. Uh, let's get rid of this filter. And let's, keep, let's, let's wake up here. It's, it's go time. This appears to be good.
This appears to be pretty good, I think. Uh, pitch. Uh, we're gonna do that. This seems like retro attitude. I'm no expert, but that seems like retro attitude. Retro sequence starting. Verify the cockpit is ready. Prepare for any manual overrides and attitude bypass. We are in full attitude bypass. So no need to worry. So I do know if things go wrong, we'll switch the fuse to the number two position just to make sure that the fuse uh, will actually work for us. We have buttons that we can manually press to manually do things if the sequencer is shot. Uh, all in all, should be okay. We're gonna have to sort of manually maintain our attitude here, because I'm, I'm not gonna be able to set it perfectly. Time to retro is T minus 60 seconds to retro. This feels close. It doesn't feel perfect. But we're definitely facing retrograde. It'll be close enough to get us somewhere near Hawaii, but who knows if we'll be near any sort of recovery vessel that's going to be able to pick us up. Roger. Man, if you thought the last flight was something thrown at you, this flight was <laughs> this flight was something too. Now, I don't have the many hours and days and weeks of astronaut training that people would actually have. It would just be like probably muscle memory. All the lights switch off. Our voltage is gone. All right, switch to standby. Isolated battery should be set to normal. So we don't no, it should be set to standby because our normals are gone. But yeah, it would just be muscle memory there. All right, retro attitude is green. I don't know if it knows <laughs> or not. But any second now, our retro should fire. Hold on. Retro warning. Um... Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to manually do this, huh? Oh, nope. It did it by itself. Maintaining attitude. The best I can. Roger that. Roger ignition. Pitching up and down a little bit here. We recommend you shut down the program by setting the fuse to off. Roger that. For the remainder of the flight and remain in manual attitude control. Roger that. This includes manual jettison of the retros, triggering 0.05G and the chutes. Start by separating the retros when ready. Roger that, will do. This is fun, all right. Let's get rid of those. Retros are gone, roger that. All right, we turned the computer off. Now we're in manual flight. This is fun. Okay, so maintain attitude and prepare as much as you can for re-entry. We will see you at Hawaii, where we will trigger the 0.05G and re-enter. All right, sounds good. So we're going to lose comms here for re-entry again, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to have to manually... Do this, and do this, and pull the snorkel, and our main, and the reserve if something goes wrong. And we're gonna switch. Oh no! Oh no! I just released the landing bag. I... I thought that would change it to... Hold on. Off meant. I thought that would change it to like manual control, but that switch just. I should have known better. All of these things are are literally actuating things. This would be no different. There's a landing. There's a landing bag sticking out of our air, spacecraft. I 
think I just killed us. Well, let's time warp ahead and see what happens. Welcome to Hawaii, let's land this capsule. Oh, by the way, the landing bag is deployed. How's that for an icebreaker? Remember to add it in trigger 2.5G when ready. Oh dear, you know, there, the heat shield is still attached to it, right? The heat shield should still be attached to it. Uh, we'll just trigger it, yeah. Roger will do. Enjoy the view of Hawaii as you fly over, and we'll see you on the other side of the atmosphere. Good luck today. I'm gonna need a lot of luck if I'm if I'm to survive re-entry with the landing peg deployed. <laughs> oh come on! I did so much wrong this mission. Post-flight analysis already. I should have just flipped the standbys on, and I should have not touched this. Oh, oh dear. Sixty-nine nautical miles. Maybe this is a sign. Maybe this number is a sign that things aren't so bad after all. All right, I'm initiating a roll of sorts. Maybe that will be able to uh, dissipate heat across the spacecraft and well. Um, the landing bag, which should not be deployed. Who knows, honestly. Altitude check. 57 nautical miles. Oh, this is this is going by so slowly. And it's just ramping up the terror in my soul. Okay. Atmospheric entry has begun. And you can see we're, we're we are pretty much on the money for retro attitude. Pretty much, I'm I'm still I'm controlling things manually a little bit. Things are definitely probably a little bit off because of that landing bag. If I can maintain this roll, maybe because the heat shield is still attached, maybe we'll be okay. And then we'll never speak of this again. <laughs> Do you hear me, guys? If we survive this, we will never speak of this landing bag incident ever again. <laughs> or my panic attack when the battery shut off. <laughs> oh, man. So far, so good. Where are we at? Altitude. 35 nautical miles. Roger that. I'm hoping this roll just saves us. If that landing bag survives re-entry, we need to figure out what it's built from. If you're not aware, I'm controlling the vessel with W, A, S, and D as we enter the atmosphere here. Trying to keep us facing retro. Best I know how. Altitude, where are we at? 22 nautical miles. We are experiencing Maybe two and a half to three G's. Oh, don't you kick in with any sad music right now. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be okay. 18 nautical miles and falling. We're not able to communicate really through the plasma. I mean, I, I can still mechanically get altitude check, but 
The plasma around the spacecraft would be blocking us from being able to communicate with ground stations, so we would just be in the dark. That's why they said see you on the other side of the atmosphere, because as we're going through the atmosphere like that, plasma blocks communications. This is why they're asking, do you read here? Oro, do you read? I do. I do read. It's so good to hear your voice or read your message loud and clear. Despite the landing bag being deployed. We survived re-entry. Watching your altitude meter, we will have to deploy the drogue and then the snorkel. Just going to kill the O2 warning again. I don't know if it's really a good idea to do that, but I think it's pretty safe. Oh, I don't know how that bag survived. I genuinely do not know. All right, deploying the Drogue in three, two, one, now. Drogue is out and pulling the snorkel pin. Pulling the snorkel pin did not do anything. Um, is there, maybe it's not supposed to do anything, but there's always been like some audio with the snorkel going out, wasn't there? O2 emergency is, is going off. So, I mean, I thought there was some like sort of venting audio, but maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't think these happen. Anyways, altitude, main, oh god, main, <laughs> oh man, we pulled the chute a little bit lower than when we were supposed to. <sighs> Excellent, a bit of a tense ending, a bit, a bit to an otherwise well-executed mission. Yeah, it was well-executed until they gave the controls to me. <laughs> Great save on the electrical system and adds to control. I'm going to give it a, a, a D, no, I'll give it a D plus on the electrical system save, and I'll give it a B plus on attitude control save. All right, that's how I'm grading it. Let me know in the comments uh, what you think. If I, I, if just a bunch of Fs in chat would be great. Then, you know, if people read the, the uh, <laughs> if people read the chat before they finish the video, they'll think that those Fs are um, <laughs> because I die. And oh man, will they be relieved. <laughs> Just confuse everyone. Okay, anyways, indeed it was. But any landing you can walk away from is a successful one. So let's analyze and learn from it. Yes, let's learn to never put me in a mercury capsule ever again. It's not happening. I love this thing. I'm going to fly it more. Maybe not for videos, since I think this is the last Mercury flight of the campaign, but I'm excited nonetheless. The last Mercury mission is soon complete. Yes, hope to get to fly that Gemini. We have just scratched the surface of space exploration. Oh, man. Gimme, gimme, Gemini. Gimme, 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 gimme. This is recovery. We have you in sight. Oh, thank God. Roger, thank you. A lot of celebration here. Enjoy some time of your own. Roger, let's pull this. Splashdown in, um, right now. Oh man, we made it back alive. Oh, it's good to be home. So we kind of have gone over all the post light analysis on the way down. That's, that's it. I'm not proud of this mission. This was, this was probably my worst mission so far. Hopefully the worst one ever because I still made it back alive All right, splash down the last mercury mission. Well done. Good to have you back Thanks, Patrick. If I know you right, I'm sure you are keeping track of our first. What's the score? Oh, you bet it's hard to admit it, but you are in the lead scores three to one if we both make it to Gemini I'll catch up. Ah Would have thought you would be better at losing after all this time. <laughs> I'll see you at debriefing. And yes, the rounds are on me. Three rounds. Beers are on him. I will see you guys at the bar. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
and peace out.